Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Oh, I almost tripped over Evers. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you know this video. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I just annoy Sarah. Teddy's already had some naps today. We slept until nine. Um, I think it was all needed because of the crazy day we had yesterday. And it's a long weekend because I took Monday off because Monday's my birthday. 31? Wait, I'm turning 31, right? Yes. Did you have a bite of mac and cheese on your lip? Sarah has no right to make such a good mac and cheese. Did you show her the vlog yesterday? I do not know. She didn't edit the vlog yet. Great. I think I showed it, but I didn't like do a step by step. It's so good. All right, we're going for a little stroll to the Target. Got yeah, both the kitties with me. Teddy's just observing the world instead of resting, and hopefully, Jamesy gets a little shut eye on this little stroll. I want to give a special shout out to our nephew Luca. He turns three today. Cannot even fathom that. He's going to be such a big kid. Um, they have like a bug going through their house too. So we were supposed to go over there today for cake and coffee for him to celebrate it. So that has going to be rescheduled. So that has turned our weekend into like, gives us the opportunity to like look on the, the bright side of things and be like, okay, well that means today can really be like a relaxing day because I'm taking Monday off. That like we can really have a productive day, a relaxing day and a fun day. Monday being like the fun day we've got some plans that Sarah was able to sneak in there that she told me about yesterday. Oh, pretty tree. Um, so today is kind of more of a relaxing day, I think. I don't think today's supposed to be the productive day. And uh, we'll see what we do tomorrow, but it's gonna be a good weekend. It's like 40, so it's like a Chicago great winter day. So we're walking to Target. I go to Florida for one day and this entire building gets put up. In reality, it's a joke, but um, I feel like I haven't looked at this building in like a week. It's right across from the Belmont and Clark Target, and buildings always look so much more further along when they have like their windows in. And like you can see interior walls are being built. I don't even know what this is gonna be. Maybe it'll be apartments. Maybe this will be what Sarah and I buy like a two bedroom here to live in when we're here. And that'd be a decent place to like short term rental, being so close to Wrigley and the lake and Wrigleyville and Lakeview. Huh? I'm gonna have to look into that. And while Peter is out, I'm gonna have a little kombucha cocktail with pomegranate juice in my holiday cup. I just can get a little look at our subscriptions um, and get the vlog edited. What do you do when you have a restful day in Chicago? When so many babies are napping, you put on The Godfather. I think it's the first time Ted is watching The Godfather. He's got a lot to learn. It's always fun to watch this with Sarah's mom because she was so conflicted because she's like, loves the family, but they're all murderers, you know? So she's like, but you know, like, like, Sonny's so, so, so mean and so ruthless, but it's Sonny. Like, she would always say stuff like that, remember? I right, your mom, like, I was so conflicted watching this because she, like, she loves all of them, but they're all murderers. And she would always be like, and she would always be like, they're murderers. She would say like, that, they're murderers. But we're gonna go make a snack for us. Yeah, you got a big kid. Oh, you're gonna get the camera. Gonna get it. It is 421. Why is this the dark, how dark it looks out our kitchen window? Why? At 545, I was in Epcot yesterday and the sun was still up. Barely, but it was still up. So Sarah insinuated before I went to Target with the boys that she was like kind of feeling on eating out tonight, but we've been trying to be really good about eating healthy and eating at home. And I was like, ah, I get that, I get that. Then when I was at Target, I saw these like prepackaged charcuterie boards, and I just now I was like, Sarah, I kind of want a charcuterie board. Oh! And she's like, go look in the kitchen. I think we have like a salami and cheese and crackers and some of the the things that you need. So I might make a mini ad hoc charcuterie board right here with Teddy in the kitchen. I made a little kombucha pomegranate fancy drink for Sarah to indulge with our makeshift ad hoc charcuterie board. So I thought we had more crackers, but we only had three. Toasted up some bread, we have some pesto, some Dijon, 
We have, I think, American cheese, um, Munster, I believe, salami, the last of our Garrett's, some olives, sweetened hot pickles, normal pickles. I mean, it's something with what we have. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is a kombucha pomegranate fancy drink. Wow. That's all we got. And the charcuterie board. Hey yo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 love it. <laughs> um. I am done editing. What are we gonna do? Yes. Hi. Hi. I see you over there. Our room has been so tight since the bassinet's been in there. I've like literally like had my clean clothes folded in laundry baskets. So that is going to, I mean, it's still gonna be tight, but that's gonna make a big difference. And I think we're gonna take a drive. And just like that, our second adventure of having a baby in a bassinet has officially come to an end. That is wild. I like vividly remember putting it back together. Sorry if my bedside table flipped over. I had to like pick it up to push the bed over to get the bassinet out. Um, but anyway, James is awake. He had a snack. We're going to get in the car. We're going to go downtown. And like I talked about the other day, we want to enjoy some Christmas Michigan Avenue. So that's what we're going to do. We're piled in the car. We're gonna go look at some Christmas lights. And the first question, is the gazebo lit up or not? Gosh, the anticipation. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Teddy has my hat on because I forgot his on the um, the shoe rack right inside the door. But what the heck? It's not really the Drake's gazebo. No, and I forget if I think the park is technically not even part of the park district. I there was some like, weird thing that like you like looked into. Donated. It's like privately owned, but might be managed by the park. No, I just saw it into the basement of the Drake. Ooh, that's like a fancy ballroom. I just saw it down. I'm gonna look into the basement if I can again. I think they're all frosted. It looked like a boiler room. No. So our goal is to just look at Christmas lights on Michigan Avenue. Maybe grab a coffee. Maybe grab a coffee and find as many Christmas trees as possible. And look at that big Christmas wreath up on 900 North Michigan. We did that for Vlogmas and the Fab 5207 was the night that you went on a hunt for boots for me. Real trees. Real trees. We just want to get in. Okay, we don't know. If, okay, Magic at Play is happening at Water Tower. We just saw that there's like a shop and a thing that say like open to the public. So like, well, we want to do the thing. We want to do this thing, but I just don't know. Like, we're not gonna do it tonight, but we just want to go and peruse in there. So to say, shop and butterbeer open to the public. Magic at Play ticketed experience. We just have to get inside because we have this stroller. And it's not that simple. Now we've not yet made our way in yet, but they have the Harry Potter music Christmas playing. So that's exciting. We made it in. We had to make our stroller small, but we made it in. Wow, wow, wow. Teddy's still awake, and they're gonna run around. 
We're gonna get some butter beer, visit the Owl Post. How very, very cool. Feels like Universal a little bit. It's kind of strange feeling though, because we're in Chicago. So we got some chocolate frogs, some honey dukes. We were just saying it's like a little strange because it's not exactly the same Universal trademark or a dime. Yeah, it was over there. Um, dimes look like Sarah's dad. It's, it's special. Just For, magic yeah, magic at plays, what this thingy is called. So it's cool, it's a little different, but the same. This is a cool Lego display, and you can make your own Lego Harry Potter minifigure. What? Very cool. Very, very cool. We'll come back sometime and do uh, the actual experience. You are so cute. Did you know? And it's okay if you take a nap. Um, but cool stuff, cool stuff. So this is like the whole size of the shop that's open to the public. Like it's not past really that wall because I think that's part of the experience. But you've got the Owl Post, Butterbeer, Lego Experience. Some very cool things. I didn't realize you see this is Pottery Barn. Oh yeah, Pot you Pottery Barn ha that. Harry Potter. Very cool. Planters are cool. Gorgeous. Loves. Wow, nice. All right, we're gonna get ready to go look at lights, so we're gonna go grab some butter beers and then finagle our way out of here. And they have some sweets and treats along with the butter beer. All right, we're getting the Niffler's Bounty Cupcake and a rock candy, Hagrid's rock cake. Thank you. And two bottles of butter beer. There's some sort of parade happening. Look at that little guy. Yeah, and they're all lit up. Old VW. Teddy loves the light. Ah. Ooh. The first time we're using this insert. Yeah. Back to decorations. Look at these elves. We found a spot at the Starbucks Reserve so Teddy can nurse. Mm -hmm. We'll do a little live taste test of the butter beer. It's really good. Is it? How does, does it taste closer to butter beer or more like pumpkin fizz? It's kind of like if they had a baby. Ooh. And our cupcake got a little messed up, but we're going to open these up. Uh, and James. I get sure. That's the one you want to try first? Open, please. Good, Did good job. <laughs> All right, we're stopping at the Marriott on Mag Mile. Basically, we're gonna stop in anywhere we think there's a Christmas tree. Or like a Christmas display. Yeah, feels. Yes. And being in this like lobby brings me back to working at the JW because like hotel fragrances are like all same, same but different. Yeah, you're kind of a Marriott guy. Yeah, I'm a Marriott junkie. So the wings of Mexico are on display here. I'll give a better spot to pause on if you want to read it in English or in Spanish. So this is the Plaza of the Americas and then there they are. Wrigley or Tribune, go. <laughs> I tried to trick you. Kids, you know which one do you like more? Tribune. Yes. But Wrigley's better. Sneaking a peek. Looks beautiful. Did you, there's actually on the fine print of like the keystone, it says, the most boring building ever built. 
That car beeped at you because you knew you were going to tell a lie. <gasps> a tree! <laughs> I like these little trees too. This is where we met for my bachelorette party. I wasn't there. You were not there. But I don't know. I don't know if you remember this. We did like a chocolate tour around the city because I don't drink. And we did everybody's well, I mean, like, person. You consume water. I don't drink juice. alcohol. I'm not your typical bachelorette you kind of guy. You wouldn't be alive if you didn't drink. Uh, but anywho, this is where we met. We did a chocolate tour all around. There is there Giardelli here? Yeah. Giardelli. I went to a mini golf. Peter did go to mini golf. And then we went to dinner. Are you are you grinding your teeth, you goon? Also, the end of our wedding video, that's where we were, right? Yeah, we were smooching. Okay, do you like this tree for the Tribune or that tree for Wrigley? That tree is more beautiful. It has a bow on top. And these lights are cold. Those lights are warm. Oh, they're building a, a blue bottle coffee. Oh, never because heard of it. Because it's the greatest building ever. Um, we might have to do this. Well, it's almost like this is the most beautiful building at all. <laughs> I can give props. I'm not a total uncultured swine. Give me liberty to know, to utter, and to argue freely according to my conscience above all other liberties. A piece of Notre Dame. Oh, a piece of Wrigley Field. Wow, it's almost like it's the greatest building in Chicago. An ancient temple from a province in China. A post office from Dublin? but I think this is the Grinch. I'm actually, this guy is filming. Do you see him? It's the Grinch. <laughs> that made me nervous. <laughs> We're home. It's way later than I expected. And we're gonna have some pasta because while we ate was that charcuterie earlier. Hello. I think this might just be one clip for today, um, the 11th. Sunday, I'm pretty sure we didn't sign off last night because after bedtime, I woke Peter up. He fell asleep with James. And he, he, you did it. I did it. Um, I woke Peter up and he got sick. He felt really ill. Um, he slept on the couch and then as like everyone kind of got up during the day, it was just clear that he was down for the count. A way that I've never, uh, I've seen Peter like that before, but just really, really feeling awful. Basically compared it to how he felt um, after Dopey Challenge last year when we had to cancel the cruise. Um, you want to keep playing? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, basically, in short, I think Peter has food poisoning. He's the only one that ate olives on that charcuterie board we ate yesterday that looked super yummy. And then looking back, the olives had expired. So I'm trying to be hopeful and not letting my anxiety get to me. Um, that we're all gonna get this tummy bug. So, fingers crossed that's what it is. 
We've been really just giving ourselves grace today. Like I said, when it comes to that kind of sickness, I get really overwhelmed and nervous about it happening. Um, I always have, even since I was little. Like, I didn't go on roller coasters because I just assumed I was gonna throw up and I hated throwing up so much that I just, I didn't go on roller coasters. It wasn't because I was afraid of the roller coaster. It was because I was afraid of potentially throwing up. Um, so yeah, we've been taking it easy. I had some stuff delivered from DoorDash. Like, <laughs> what's that goofy face about? <gasps> he was like, <laughs> he was like getting <laughs> worked up about Anna and Elsa in an argument. I, it sounded like he was like quoting it at first. My mind was like, what is happening? Um, but anyways, um, yeah. I got like crackers and ginger ale and that sort of stuff and we've just been taking it easy um, at home. So I'm gonna sign off for the day here. I'm gonna go check up here and see where we're at. Hopefully it's just a 24 hour thing and we can move on with this and celebrate his birthday, which is tomorrow. Um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.